Personal commitment is key in the battle against drug and alcohol addiction, but teamwork helps. That's where the Sober Life comes in. The whole purpose of the Sober Life is to provide people in recovery from addiction and alcoholism with connection, purpose, and, and a sense of individual agency that their actions uh, can better their own lives and uh, the lives of people in their community. Since 2018, the nonprofit organization has offered free, family-friendly events along with fitness activities, volunteer opportunities, and most recently, Native American cultural programs including drumming and beating. Kiara Hagerty knows firsthand the benefits of the sober life. Being able to play volleyball and basketball and go to events like rafting um, and have fun and be sober while doing it was new to me. Kiara struggled with drugs and alcohol since high school. She's a treatment court graduate and now the Sober Life's peer recovery coach and care coordinator. It's part of a three-year $540,000 federal grant to provide even more support. It's peer recovery coaching, that's just being there for them, right? That's walking them through these challenges we know they're going to confront and then there's that care coordination. So whether it's housing, food, clothing, help with employment, education, whatever their needs are that can be a real barrier to staying sober. Well, some of the hardest things for me to do was just to take that initiative to try and call the places to see if they would, you know, rent me a place or call and see how I can get the SNAP benefits or just all those things were very overwhelming to me. Risberg says with all the money society spends on medical treatment, rehabilitation, and in the criminal justice system, programs like the Sober Life play a vital role. We ensure that folks that have gotten that great start, right, they've, they've gotten detoxed, they've been through treatment, they have tools, that they have this supportive recovery community. The Sober Life has taught me how to love people again and how to trust people and you know those connections that I've made throughout the sober life has really made me who I am today. In Great Falls, <laughs> Tim McGonigal, MTN News.